Hi guys. So I'm popping on today with just a very few things that I happened to pick up at TK Maxx. My name is Fawn, this is my channel and it's my happy place and I come on here to talk to my friends. So if you like that kind of thing, please do give me a thumbs up, click subscribe and leave a comment. <laughs> and if I'm looking odd, it's because Bert has just snuck onto my lap. He does this whole thing, right? <laughs> it makes me laugh of sneaking onto my lap and he won't make eye contact while he's doing it until I've sort of acknowledged that he's there. Then it's all staring in your face and, and all of that nonsense. But when I'm sitting in one of the chairs through there, you, you get the front paws first and then sort of the body is hitching further and further up you until he thinks he can just do a little bounce and get on your lap. I mean, he's far too big to do a bounce and get on my lap, but he seems to think he can. Um, yes, I had to pop into uh, my local town yesterday with um, Nick to get, um, he wanted to go to Marks and Spencers. He loves their um, deli meats. And of course, most delis at the moment, most, you know, deli counters in the supermarkets, they're closed, aren't they? So the, the selection is smaller than normal. So occasionally he likes to go to Marks and he just stocks it. It's so expensive. Deli meat, so, you know, because it's... Um, parma ham and all that sort of stuff. They're so expensive, aren't they? And they're, like, they're way for thin. But anyway, he likes to get himself some. He has a little supply in the fridge because what he quite often does is if he has to get off a bit, leave early, um, he'll, he will take a pack of this meat with him. I don't know how he can eat salami and parma ham for breakfast, but he does. And I know a lot of countries they do. Cheese and ham um, or meats. For breakfast is quite normal and he's really into that so anyway that's where we went sorry long <laughs> i'm gonna get there in the end aren't i um so while he was in there doing that i popped into tk maxx now i went in there because i wanted some more cushions to go with those cheap ones that i bought at um b m couldn't find any that really worked so i didn't but the danger with i'm gonna get my words out the danger with tk maxx is you can go for one thing and come out with half a dozen others now i didn't come out with half a dozen others but i did come out with a few and i thought i'd show you i'm just gonna have to move this stupid dog because he's sitting all over what i'm trying to show you so first things first i bought a pretty card actually and it says Seven billion people on the planet and you're my favourite by Cloud9, £1.79. Um, Valentine's is coming up. We're not really into the slushy stuff. Although that is quite slushy when you think about it. We don't do, we don't do cards with hearts and flowers and things like that. But that's quite a nice little simple sentiment. Um, he got me into always buying cards that are blank inside for him because he wants me to write something nice. <laughs> I have to say, it's not easy. I don't find it very easy. I'm a typical Brit in that I find it quite difficult to express my emotions. He, unlike me, can write the most beautiful cards and you read them and you think, oh, oh my gosh, that's lovely. How on earth does he do it? And I still can't do it. But anyway, I picked that up. So I'm well in advance of 14th of February. I then picked up, and I've actually opened this because I did some ironing and had to use them. I picked up some of these hangers. These are these... Um, what do they call them fleecy fleecy velvety these ones happen to be white they're by um isaac misra there's the packaging as i say i did some mining um they call them velvet hangers is isaac misra he new york velvet hangers a pack of 30 for 9.99 which i thought was really really good um and they are lovely being white they i mean they won't stay white <laughs> But I just thought they were really nice. Um, and they feel, I don't know, I could be wrong. But I've bought some of these similar from Amazon. And some of them have been good. And some of them have not been good at all. And I've found that I'm not able to turn the head. Now, I, I know to a lot of people that's not a big deal. But when I do my ironing, I have a tendency to do that. And then hang it on the door after I've ironed it. Until I've got the time. And I, I, you know, and I take a whole load upstairs. If I'd planned this house properly, I'd have had an ironing room upstairs, wouldn't I? Anyway, so I picked those up, 9 99 for 30. Then I have a um, metal, beaten metal vase. I might try and add it on at the end of this. Um, that I bought to put some fake Christmas roses in. I love white roses at Christmas. And I found some and they were really pretty. And I bought this vase. It didn't really work. The vase is a bit too tall for the flowers. And we're not at Christmas now, so I don't want white roses out. 
but I want something for in that vase. So I mean, I'm still to buy a vase that fits the roses, but that can wait now until next year, well, not next year, you know, late in the year when we're heading towards Christmas. But I wanted something for the vase now, and I found these. I bought two bunches, because I'd rather have too many than too few. And I think they're really beautiful. Now, they weren't the cheapest. They were $11.99 a bunch, and you get three stems in it. But I just thought they were really beautifully detailed. I mean, they have the extra sort of foliage as well as the little, the little flowers. Very, very tall, and I think will look amazing in that vase. So I will. I'll add it on at the end. I'll, I'll show you it with the roses, and then I'll show you it with this. So as I say, I got two bunches at $11.99, which... It's not the cheapest, but they feel good enough quality that they will last and last and last. I mean, you know yourself, if you buy flowers, you know, you pay four or five pounds for a little wee bunch of something and it lasts a week. So it will take me, what would it be? Let's say a month's worth of fresh flowers covers the two bunches of fake. So anyway, I got them. Now I also noticed, and I picked these up for a future giveaway um, to be added to things that I give away they had the pixie gift sets in there and i happen to think that these are very good value they were 20 pounds before christmas i'm sure they were i'm sure i saw them in places like boots but they were 9.99 so this one i picked up this one which has got the milky tonic the glow tonic and the retinol tonic in it i actually at the moment use the glow tonic and, and like it um and they also had this one, which has got the uh, multi-moisturizers. So it's got the hydrating milky lotion, the phenomenal gel, and the retinol jasmine lotion. So they were £9.99 each instead of £20 each, which I think is really, really good value. As I say, I was always very wary of the Pixie products because I associate that sort of look of a thing with being um, aimed at a youth market, aimed at teens. And quite often it's not very good for, for older, mature skin. But I follow Caroline Hirons, who is amazing, and she swears by the Glow Tonic. It's one of the ones, she put it in one of her sets over Christmas. She doesn't think that they're rubbish. So I thought, well, I'm gonna get them and they'll be really nice to go in with other bits when I do my next giveaway. So yes. <laughs> But they had all of the gift sets um, and I mean it's half price basically so if you're into it, any face creams or anything certainly worth a look now the final thing I bought and I think I must have been mad hubby thinks I'm mad but I fell in love with it you'll know if you've watched me for any length of time I love these um, flocked ornaments and I've got lots I've got a fox and I've got um, what have I got I've got an elephant and um, a sausage dog so I always keep an eye out for when they're going to have, when they have a flocked ornament in. And this one was what I found when I was in there the other day. Now, it's purpley pink, as you can see. It is a stegosaurus, would you say that was? Is it a steggy or is it, um, oh, now you see, if I have Milo in, he'd tell me straight away. Yeah, it's not a triceratops. Oh, it could be a triceratops actually because of the three horns. Oh, I don't know, one or the other. But I loved it the minute I saw it. I love this colour. This colour is gorgeous. It goes so beautifully in here. Um, I did pay £19.99 for this. So this was more than a lot of the others. But I, it was so unusual. Um, I think it'll work beautifully in here. And I can hide it away for the kids to find and spot. And, you know, Grandma's got a triceratops, I think, on her, um, on her windowsill. These... Um, flock things and probably have to move in the summer because this gets so hot in here that it bleaches things and i wouldn't want it to be bleached so i'll have to go through in one of the other rooms later on but for now would you look at how beautiful he is he is absolutely stunning and as i say that color that rich jewel color will work in this room beautifully so that was it that was my tk max there were so many nice things in there. They really were. I, TK Maxx is one of my favourite shops. I go in there and I know that I will just lose a whole chunk of time while I'm wandering around considering things. I was only thinking that I wish I had a big house with like, you know, six bedrooms or something because then I could have different themes in every room. But of course I've done the two spares. The other one is the dressing room and then there's our room. So it's, I mean, truthfully, they class this house as four bed 
a four bed house it really isn't it really really isn't it's really a three bed but they've divided one of the big rooms in my opinion but that means there are only three rooms to decorate so um and my room i'm keeping really really neutral at the moment so it's kind of I want to get in amongst it but I am going to get in amongst it in here in the conservatory I'm going to keep the dual colors because I really like them but my leak has become such a problem and I'm going to show you that as well as the vase can you see the problem so there's a leak somewhere in this pillar and it's causing the paint and the plaster to come off the wall which is just I'm not a happy bunny I have to say I am not a happy bunny it's making it all bubble um, and I think it might be a much bigger job <laughs> than we'd hoped but you can see the moisture in there and the fact that it's just sort of crumbling the plaster away from the pillar but it's not coming from the very top can you see it's coming sort of halfway down so yeah we've got someone coming out to have a look at that and I'm just praying that it's a simple job and not a flipping awful big job. So this is the vase that I'm talking about that I filled with white roses. But it was it was so wrong. I just did not get it right at all. So this is a Christmas thing. Please excuse. I have a plant that is trying to die on me over there and I'm not best pleased. Um, so, yeah, the, I put these out at Christmas. I just thought they were really beautiful white roses. But they're not suitable all year round for me. And the vase was wrong. The proportions... Of the whole thing is just wrong so, so I'm gonna put the white roses away oh gosh <laughs> I'm flinging them everywhere and I'm hoping that these two bunches will make more sense right let me get ooh, let me get some scissors let's just undo this as well oh come on maybe I'm better not cutting it oh yeah they're ones with wire in them right so let's see oh i think that's much better i think it's far more in proportion the size of the vase to the size of the blooms you can see my clutter <laughs> not just the flowers you're seeing my clutter so there we go thought i'd show you a little bit of the sunshine out here as well you can see um oops <laughs> I can get my finger in focus. Stella is about there. She has been very quiet, Stella. Very, very quiet. Taken to going off on her own. Can you see that the others aren't with her? Um, the others will be roaming around in the field somewhere. But Stella was very, very close to Danny. And um, yeah, she's taken to being miserable. But look at the beautiful view, and it's quite a bright. Look, there's patches of blue in that sky. You pull back. Look at that, ladies. There's some blue sky. So there we go. That was my tiny little um, TK Maxx haul. Um, so I'm going to say goodbye for now. And I will be back really, really soon. I hope you're all okay. I hope you're getting a little bit of this sunny blue sky, even if it is cold. And I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.